Hello friends of Brooklyn, hello great city of Brooklyn. It's the ninth edition of Brooklyn 2.0, the August edition. Kids, I know you like me saying this, back to school edition. We're gonna start out at the Brooklyn branch, the Cuyahoga County Public Library, and we're also gonna go to Loving Cup Child Care. Back to school, kids. I need to find a librarian. Are you a librarian? Yes, inside voices. <laughs> Yes, I am. I'm Mike Pelsisco. Ah. Uh, What's your name? You're a librarian. Krista Tokars. Krista Tokars? I want to know the services of this library, sure. of the Brooklyn branch. What are the services that you offer? Well, as you walked in, this is our circulation desk. Okay. So when you go to check out all the books, okay, you see the ladies behind the desk. And they are actually certified as passport services so that if you need a passport to go to Canada or Europe or Wait, anywhere. You're telling me I can get a passport uh -huh. when I want to go to uh, maybe uh, Milano, Italy, yep. or maybe Orvetto, Italy, yep. or Munich, Germany, or yes. Dresden, Germany? Yes, they'll get you all set up with pictures and everything, a full passport. They'll help you get all set up with that. And they take care of all, they help you through the paperwork and everything. Show me this beautiful library. Sure, sure. So we have books and DVDs and movies and we have MP3 players where you can listen to books okay. and that sort of thing. This is our DVDs, so adult is, music CDs, so you can take them home, listen to your favorite favorite artists. Johnny Cash. Okay, absolutely. Um, down in through here is our teen section. So our teens from sixth grade on up, they have their own section where they can hang out and play games and different things like that. And they have all the books that are age appropriate for teens and tweens. Are the kids still reading Twilight? or maybe Harry Potter. What, what are the teens reading today? Yes, those kind of branched off. Okay. And so other authors are jumping on that same type of bandwagon. So you have adult writers like John Grisham and James Patterson who are now writing for teens. I love John Grisham. Love and so there's a, it's, there's a kid lawyer series from John Grisham and then there's a humor series from James Patterson. So it's really, um, the adult writers are starting to find that this is a really cool age range to write for and that they are, are really clamoring for some really good quality stories and so those adult authors are dropping down into the teen section and they're extremely popular. Luke, I am your father. <laughs> Remember that from Star Wars? Yeah. You've got a Star Wars section. Tell mm -hmm. me about the Star Wars section. Well it's not just Star Wars, it's graphic novels and anime and this is something else that teens are really interested in is Japanese anime, which are basically comic books. They're thicker comic books. And what's really cool is you read them backwards because they're Japanese. They read from right to left instead of left to right. So you read the book backwards. read the book backwards. Yeah, so that's the Japanese anime. And then we also have the longer graphic novels, which isn't just Star Wars. It's um, the Avengers and Iron Man and you know the, the X-Men. So they all have series of books and that and the graphic novels for teens. I'm having a flashback. I'm thinking Johnny Sacco when I was a kid. We think mm -hmm. of Japanese. Mm -hmm. Ultraman. Uh -huh. This is awesome. Yep. So this is a big hit here at the library for yes. the kids. For the teens. Yes. Books. Let me ask you this question. Mm -hmm. Do you have Alexander and the Whore? Say it again. Alexander and the terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. Say that ten times. No. Yes, can. Okay. Do you have that book? Do you have that book? In this one? Here it is. Can you tell yeah. me about this book? And sure. all your books. Sure. There are books for all ages, even for the babies. We have board books, which are cardboard, so the little, little ones can love on them, but still not tear the pages. Then there's the picture books, like Alexander here, which are 32 pages, and they go all the way up to about third grade reading level. We have early readers for kids that are learning how to read. We have chapter books for the school age readers. And we have a ton of nonfiction, which are fact books. And they have all different subjects according to the Dewey Decimal System. Well, Krista, do you think I could take this to the bathroom with me? Not here, but you could check it out on your library card and take it at home and read it at home. And I have my library card. Krista, those dreadful words, back to school. I, 
Oh, I can't, I can't stand the yeah. words. But I know you have a back to school program. Can you tell me a little about your back to school program? Our homework center, it, it runs from September through May. Okay. It's for kids in kindergarten through eighth grade. And we have a coordinator who oversees the daily operations. And our tutors are from uh, Tri-C and Cleveland State. So you tutor in math, science, English, Every all subject. the subjects. Mm -hmm. uh, do you teach kids how to study, maybe how to study for a test or how to prep mm -hmm. for a test? The tutors help them. They do their, their homework. Whatever homework comes, they have comes first. And their most difficult subject comes first. And then once they get that finished, then they have 20 minutes of reading that they have to do to kind of help keep them keep their reading skills sharp. Five minutes of math facts because you can never have too many math facts. And then after that, then they have free time to play board games. We have computers. We have iPads. So they get a chance to try out some technology and that sort of thing as well. So you have the educational part and the social part mm -hmm. with the board games, with other mm -hmm. kids. And I always know kids learn from other kids. Right. This is a, this is a great program. Fun. You have an extensive adult mm -hmm. book collection. Mm -hmm. What are the, some of the services that you offer adults? Well, we have book discussions um, twice a month for adults who like to read different kinds of books. And we have computer classes where if they want to learn how what a computer is or how to search the internet or get a Gmail account or even to learn digital, digital imaging, um, we have different you know, we also have, G we host GED classes. So it's ongoing education. Mm-hmm. Right. And so we try to make sure we have programs that are of interest of all ages, all adults. Like we had a program on um, Molly Brown, which was really very cool. She was a lady and she talked about what it was like to be on the Titanic. Okay, and cool. it was dressed in, you know, a time appropriate uh, clothing and talked about what it was like to be on that tight on the Titanic so neat programs for adults as well so you really reach out to the community yes we try to be a community center I got arthritis in the back I can't see uh, I can't hear but I know this section's for me tell me about this section well this is our large print section so the print is a little bit bigger than a normal size Do you mind if I look? sure Thomas Perry. okay so if you do have, like, I, I tend to read large print at night because it doesn't hurt your eyes as much. And so, and our seniors tend to like the large print as well. It is large. Yes. So this is, you know, a, a section that our seniors like, as well as the books on CD, or even our playaways, which are little MP3 players, that where you can listen to the book and it's read to you. Okay. Voice. I want to let you know something. I still fax. Can I copy here? Yes. Yeah, we have uh, two copiers, and one of the copiers is actually a free fax machine. So you can fax anything you want for free. And our copies are 10 cents. What are your hours, and what days are you open? We're open Monday through Thursday from 9 o'clock in the morning till 9 o'clock at night, and then Friday and Saturday from 9 to 5.30, and Sundays 1 to 5. I'll tell you. This has been a treat here at the Cuyahoga County Public Library, Brooklyn Branch. The wonderful services that you offer to the community. Mm -hmm. This is unbelievable. I want to thank you, Krista, for this great experience and just letting the people of Brooklyn know how you're reaching out to the community. Thank oh, you so much. Thank you. What an honor it is to be with Dr. Anju Agawa. Hello. The owner of Loving Cup Kids Academy. Tell me, how did this dream come about? Well, we started, um, we had passed this area a lot of times and we saw this building sitting um, right next to the library. So my husband approached Miss um, Fran, you know, the city finding out who uh, this building belonged to and then came up with this great idea. Well, it was sitting empty for years and years and rotting and, you know, it was decaying literally. So the city was good enough to sell it to us and uh, we have developed it into a facility that is beneficial to the community um, as much as we can make it, you know. Uh, it's a beautiful place for taking care of children. It's right next to the church on one side and the public library on the other side. Dr. Andrew, I love the colors. Very positive. Thank uh, you. It's inviting. How many kids do you have in this academy? We have 97 kids enrolled as of right now. 
97 kids? Yes, we do. Do you, are, are any, do you have a wait list, or are there just kids that, can you take more kids? Um, some classes we are at our limit, and we do not have availability at, in every classroom. Our classrooms are divided into infant, toddler, preschool, and school age groups, and we do have availability in some of the classrooms. I'm here with Janie, the director of Loving Cup Kids Academy. I love Loving Cups. A lot of love. A lot of love here. I feel a lot of love. <laughs> Tell me some of the programs that you're from infants up to 12 year olds. Um, actually, here we use the creative curriculum, which is aligned with the state core standards. We offer American Sign Language. We also offer um, cooperative play because we believe that children learn through play. We have had an opportunity also to incorporate technology into everyday classrooms. So you'll see we have the computer laboratory as well as the smart TVs. You know, Loving Cups is famous for the virtual field trip. Correct. I see a TV. Explain the virtual field trip to our viewers. Well, the virtual field trip is where we may not have be able the ability to take all of our children across the country or to the world, but we can bring it to them. So along with the internet blended technology, we're able to have the children, we go online and the teacher will actually bring the three, the whole 3D concept of different aspects such as the Eiffel Towers that we talked about last week. We're able to see it, Google map it, go in and view it just as if we were a tourist there. So we bring the virtual component into the classrooms. So they experience the world in different cultures. Correct. Janie, I see you have these cribs here. Two working parents, they just have a brand new baby. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me about the crib program? Yes, we offer infant care up until the age of 12. With the infants, it's dust and plan, just like the other students here. They get an individualized program where we concentrate on the social and emotional growth of the child. Sometimes the children are here long, have long days and a lot of parents are really worried. We have an open door policy that can come in at any given time. We use the creative curriculum as well here with the students and they the day pretty much goes on what the child needs so it is individualized to meet their needs how many teachers to, to one child we have one teacher to every four infants Jeannie, i know loving cups kids academy is famous for their school age camps Correct. can you tell us about the program yes we offer school age camp on breaks when the children are out of school and we also offer it throughout the school year during the summer we concentrate more on the academic component for the 21st century global learner. So like right now our school ages they're gone. They're out on a field trip. They have two field trips per week and they also provide transportation. We also give them an opportunity to go out volunteering in the community just to extend out that um, that um, dynamics of cooperative learning through diversity in all cultures. Kids learn together. Correct. Diverse, diverse mm -hmm. situations, diverse experiences. Kids definitely learn together. Correct. And Dr. Anju, I know you have 97 kids at this academy. But how many teachers do you have on staff? We have an, uh, um, employed about 11 teachers and a director at this time. Let me ask you this. What are your hours of operation, okay, and what days are you open? Uh, we are open Monday through Saturday, and we are open from um, 6 a.m. to 11 p.m. at night. How would the residents of Brooklyn, if they have a small toddler, contact you? Do you have a website? Do you have a phone number? We have a website, um, as well as the number to contact us is 216-398-3800. 216-398-3800. Do you know your website, the actual website? It's Loving Cup, www.lovingcupkidsacademy.com. Dr. Agnew, thank you. This has been a wonderful experience here today. Thank you nice so much. Nice meeting you, nice and thank you. you so much. Thank you, Dr. Agnew. I'm stuck in the caterpillar. I'm not. I, I love to play, but I'm stuck.